Uh, I don't know. I would have to ask them. I know. <laughs> this is literally every time, and they're like, I don't know, you tell me. And I'm yeah. like, I don't know. Scene one, take one, Colin Mark. How's it going, Firebase developers? Welcome to another episode of Ask Firebase, the show where we answer your burning Firebase questions. I'm Jen Person, your host, and today my co-host is John Scripp. Thanks so much for coming on the show. I appreciate it. Sure. So um, why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what you do at Firebase? All right. So I am part of the A-B testing team. Um, specifically, I work on the back end. Well, I mean, that works out well because I actually collected some questions about A-B testing today. So hopefully you can help me answer them. Great. So our first question comes from Stack Overflow, and this user wants to know whether A-B testing is doing anything different to what remote config does. In particular, they're very interested in knowing whether remote config ensures that when users open the app multiple times, they will always be getting the same remote config values versus using A-B testing. So what should, what's going on here? Um, is it the same or different? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, A-B testing is actually doing something different than remote config. Um, specifically, A-B testing does guarantee stickiness uh, for a user that is enrolled in the experiment, um, whereas remote config does not. Um, there, it is possible to kind of craft your targeting for remote config that you can mostly guarantee that the same users will be in the same kind of target groups, um, but it, there is no guarantee with just RC. So in order to actually guarantee that they're the same user will be in the same group throughout. Uh, you will need to use A-B testing. Which seems like the best use of remote config anyway, as far as I'm concerned. It's, right. You know, being able to do those kind of experiments and see which uh, configuration works best for your users. Yep, so. yeah. Like, for instance, if someone was to fly across the world, um, you don't, you know, maybe you would want to change their remote config values to from something that targets the US to something that targets Singapore or wherever they end up. Yeah, that is something I've noticed. Um, I went to Mexico City before for work, and then uh, when I was on social media, all my ads uh, were in Spanish. And so I was like, interesting that it targets it differently. And then yeah. when I came back to the US, most of them changed back. <laughs> but every now and again, I'm like, oh, right. It's just like an ad in Spanish now, <laughs> so. All right, thank you. Yeah. Great question. Are you ready for another one? Sure. OK, let's dive in. So our next question is also from Stack Overflow. And this user wants to know that you know they did not set an activation event for the experiment, meaning that they left that field blank. So who becomes part of the experiment? Is it anyone who opens the app with a matching version? Anyone who starts a session with a matching version? Anyone who engages with the matching session? Um, so uh, who would be in that? So specifically, it would just be um, Whoever, whoever calls the activated fetch um, would get put into that experiment. Um, there's not really a long description for this answer. That's pretty much it. If you pull the values, you're in the experiment. Well, that's an easy one. Then whoever pulls the values is <laughs> in the experiment. There you go. I like when they're short and sweet, yeah, yeah. right? Our next question comes from Ramwise Matt, also on Stack Overflow. He says, Firebase's A-B testing tool allows us to target users in an experiment by device language. How is this device language understood? Is it the user's preferred language or the language of the device uh, in the absence of the user's preferred language? Or is the language that the app has been configured to based on best effort match with the lo localizations available? OK, yeah, good question. Um, so there's two kind of options that you have moving forward with this. The language specifically is determined by the device language. So whatever the user's preferred language is on their device, that will be what is what is targeted by language. Um, the, other, the other option that you have, kind of, that's not directly language, but you can target countries or regions. If you specifically want people speaking Spanish in Spain, you can target both language, Spanish, and you know, country, Spain. Otherwise, I mean, really, it depends on what you're looking for, what you're looking to target. So basically, you're saying you can do by uh, uh, location or language or even a combination thereof, which could probably give you like that customization that you're looking for. Right, right. But yeah, if there's any after the fact translation happening, there's not really a good way to to target that because that's the user's kind of setup specifically. Cool. 
This is actually why I love doing this show because um, <laughs> it's great. I get to give you the questions and I'm like, and then you put the answers in here. Yeah, yeah. So I always end up learning so much. Yeah. And then I go back through and answer people like it was my <laughs> idea. I knew the whole time. Yes. John, thanks so much for coming on and answering all of these burning questions about A-B testing. I really sure. appreciate it. And thank all of you who have asked questions and submitted questions. And if you have your own burning question, be sure to put it on social media with the hashtag Ask Firebase. And who knows, you might see it on a future episode. Also, if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the Firebase YouTube channel where you'll see all sorts of other interesting content. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on a future episode. Yeah, see you like, no. Like last Dude, time I was on, I like, who was I on with? I like started waving and they were just like. I think it was Jason. Yeah, it probably <laughs> was. <laughs>